Hi, in this video I'll be showing you this. It's the Domo DO537 FR air fryer. And what I want to do today is to show you around the air fryer, some of the features and benefits that it offers. Just for a start, I would appreciate it if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, just give us a quick thumbs up. Now at the moment here in the UK, air fryers are huge in the market. Uh, there's so much demand for them, there's very little stock in the market, and that's why we're really glad to get the Domo into our store. And I must admit, even though we've only had it in a couple of days, it's selling really well so far. Uh, but this is mainly because the cost of electricity at the moment within the UK is sky high. So people are looking at cheaper ways of cooking rather than just going and turning the oven on all the time, which can be quite an expensive way to cook. Then they're looking for cheaper ways of cooking. That's really where the air fryers come into their own, like this model. Domo as a brand hasn't really been around a lot in the UK, which I'm surprised at because they've been around since 1986. Uh, just to give you an idea, uh, this is the, the catalogue of the products that they make. Um, I'm not going to go through all of them, but they do things like fridge freezers, uh, there's microwaves, there's hair dryers. There, there really is a huge, huge range of products that they do. There's a lot of other cooking appliances that do, dehydrators, pizza makers, uh, kettles, coffee makers. They're quite heavy into, into coffee. Uh, there's a lot of other small domestic appliances, irons as well. So as you can see, there's a huge range of products that Domo produce. And I think what we're going to find over the next 12 months, we'll see a lot more products arrive into the UK. Now, when it comes to the FR itself, the first thing I always say before buying this kind of product or, or any kind of kitchen appliance is make sure it will fit in the space. Uh, chances are this is the sort of product that is going to sit on the kitchen worktop. I suppose some people will try and put it away in a cupboard, uh, but I think for a lot of people, because you're going to be using it quite often, then in some kitchens it's going to stay out. So what you want to do is to make sure that it will fit. And as far as the dimensions, so the width of it, is what have we got 36 centimeters or just over 14 inches the height of it is 31 centimeters or just over 12 inches and then the depth so front to back to the the very back is so if you go into the front here you're looking at 28 centimeters or around 11 inches if you are including the handles as well then if you want to measure the the complete physical size of the air fryer then really you're looking at uh, say 37 centimeters around 14 and a half inches so again just have a quick measure uh, but what you also need to allow you normally need to allow a little bit of space above it and I suppose around it as well because you can find that some air fryers can get quite warm uh, so I'd always recommend if you're going to put it under a cupboard or under a shelf or something just allow a little bit of space around it I mentioned just now that the market in the UK is huge rare fries at the moment, but really what people are after are the double draw models like this one. Um, when I say double draw, it just means you've got two drawers in here. If you, but each of these drawers have a four litre capacity and you will see at the bottom you've got a little grill rack, so that can come out if you want to. When it comes to cleaning the drawers, personally I wouldn't really put them in a dishwasher. Uh, any things like this so that would be okay in the dishwasher uh, but with the drawer itself personally I'd just uh, give it a, a good wash in hot soapy water you should find because it's got a non-sit lining that they should be pretty easy to clean anyway uh, you have got the option so you can take the front part off if you want to you've got some you got a couple of screws just on the inside there so if you really wanted to take this apart it's quite easy to do so uh, if you wanted to give it a, a really good clean after a while uh, but as far as the the left hand and the right hand drawer are exactly the same, so they're both 4 litre capacity. So when you first turn the air fryer on, pressing that button, then you're met with this display. I must say, I'm really impressed with the display. Uh, it's got a, a nice white clear LED display. Uh, some of the others on the market are different colours and I'll be honest they're not that easy to read. Uh, but you will notice that you've got the left and the right setting. Uh, what it will do is it will actually turn itself off so it's like a power saving mode uh, and clearly that's working at the moment so if you don't press anything then it will just turn itself off which is which is actually really good uh, but what you can do is first of all if we were to select one of the drawers so if I want to put something in the left hand drawer um, if I just want to put something in for say 15 well let's say 20 minutes 
and I know I want to cook it on say 180 then I've already selected the left hand drawer then you just press that and just reduce that down to 180 and all you would do then is just press the start button and that will be for 15 minutes if you wanted to change the time on it then so for 20 minutes then you would select that and then just press start and away you go and it works exactly the same for the right hand drawer all you need to do is just select the drawer that you want to change adjust the temperature so as far as the temperature ranges I'll just show you this so it goes from 200 that's the maximum 200 degrees centigrade and it goes all the way down to 80 degrees you've got a really good range of temperatures which is always a good thing because some things you might want to air fry on a low temperature now you have got something in the middle here called sink and what that will do that will basically sink both drawers at the same time so whatever you change it will match the two drawers together and if you wanted to time something so for example if you'd got say chips in one side and chicken nuggets in the other side then what it will do is it will actually match them together now on this air fryer you've actually got eight automatic programs these can be really good if you're not too sure how long to air fry things for uh, then it just gives you a much better indication as to how long something will take to cook and also the temperature at which you put it at first of all all you need to do is just select which drawer you want to cook in so i'll just select to the right hand drawer uh, and then all you need to do is select the mode that's the the button here and it will just take you through the different options at the bottom so rather than pressing the buttons you just press the mode and it'll toggle between all eight programs now the first one you've got once you've selected the drawer is the fries option and that will cook at 200 degrees and that'll cook for around 20 minutes and the next one here is the steak option so you can pop a pop a steak in here if you wanted to cook it in the air fryer that'll cook around 180 degrees centigrade for 16 minutes next one on here that's the fish it, that will cook at 180 for 10 minutes uh, the next one is bacon one of my favorites if you follow me on youtube for a while you know i'm a huge fan of bacon uh, the next one that's the chicken so that'll cook at 200 degrees for 25 minutes i should have mentioned that the bacon setting will only take around six minutes uh, you will be surprised how quick things will cook in an air fryer if you uh, the next option on here is the cake setting uh, so that will cook at 180 degrees for around 12 minutes then you've got vegetables uh, that will cook at 160 for around 16 minutes and then the last one which is quite an interesting one that's dehydration uh, so that's I suppose with this that this is a really good option uh, and it will actually cook at around 60 degrees uh, but this is between 1 and 24 hours so you actually set the time that you want it to cook for so it's just got a preset time of eight hours but what you do is you actually set the time that you want it to dehydrate for now i'm not sure if anyone has de dehydrated food before if you have just pop it in the comments what's your favorite uh, thing to dehydrate also while you're on it uh, what's your favorite thing to cook in the air fryer if you have got an air fryer then let me know what you've got if you're impressed with it uh, but also what's your favorite thing to cook in the air fryer or dehydrate I'm always interested to to hear any of the comments or any of the favorite recipes that people have got uh, but just going back to the de dehydrating this is really good for things like fruit um, I've dehydrated things like bananas uh, there's quite a few berries that I've dehydrated over over the last couple of years mainly for the kids it's quite it's a really really healthy snack um, rather than crisps or chocolate or something like that it's just something a little bit different if you are thinking of buying one of these models I have provided a link below to show you where to get one at a competitive price if the link doesn't work at the moment then that basically means we run out of stock uh, there's not a huge amount of stock around at the moment we've managed to get quite a few um, I got as many as I could uh, but I know stock is running short at the moment so if the link doesn't work it's uh, well I do apologize it's just because we run out of stock for now uh, all I'd normally say is I hope you've enjoyed the quick video on the Domo DO 537FR air fryer if you've got any comments on the video if I've missed something out uh, I know I didn't give a demonstration of it uh, at the moment this is one that I'll be honest we're not going to have these in stock for long so this is one that will it's on our display at the moment but I do want to sell it as a as, as a new model rather than using it and then trying to sell it as a, a used model 
I would appreciate it if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the like button and click subscribe, give us a quick thumbs up. If you've got any comments on the video, whether you liked it, didn't like it, if I've missed something out, then just pop it in the comments. Uh, or, as I mentioned just now, if you've got an air fryer at home, if you've got a favourite recipe that you like to, to cook in there, or if there's something that's really good that you found that you cook in and you really enjoy, then pop it in the comments below. Thanks for watching.